big deal. You've been approved for a jumbo mortgage. But that doesn't mean you can afford it. And if you fall into that trap, bad things can happen. You know on the mortgage application, when it says, your home is at risk? Well, they're not joking. Tonight, we meet David and Paula. They borrowed badly. They can't afford the repayments. And now they're struggling to hold on to their home. Paula and David Carton are both 29 and from Wicklow. David is a truck driver, while Paula is full-time mother to Kieran, Jordan, Shauna and David Jr. They borrowed €82,500 to build their house, then kept on borrowing to finish it. They are now drowning in debt. When you look at your portfolio of loans, there's a bank, there's credit cards, there's short-term loans, that if you were actually servicing all those loans today, do you know how much they would be costing every year? No. If you were servicing them fully? A lot more than what we're getting anyway. Yeah, about 24000 a year. Oh. Okay. Mm. Now your net income is 38, so you don't need to be a genius to see. Mm. You can run a family with six people in it on what remains. And that's what you were trying to do. Mm. It's humanly impossible, regardless of any other features of your life, to do that. It's just not possible. So to me, the route out of this is to try and get you to a position where you can actually set up the loans the way they should have been set up first day, which is on a mortgage because practically all of the debt that you've accumulated related to the purchase yeah. of the house. There is a chance, and right now it's only a chance, that this can happen. Mm -hmm. What is the worst case scenario? I don't have to tell you what the worst case scenario is. I don't have to tell you. No, like, no. You know what that is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that involves clearing the debt by selling. Yeah, but like the, that's, that won't be an option. Like that's the road that I don't want to go down. It's an option we can't go down either way. Self-evidently. Yeah, yeah. I don't expect you to sit there and say, actually, you know, we'd consider you. <laughs> you, know, you know, of course not. I mean, you're going to fight to hold your castle, you know, yeah. until you can fight no more. Mm -hmm. David and Paula had hit another low. With the remortgage under threat, could they endure the pain of budgeting, knowing all the family sacrifices might be for nothing? Dear Santa, how are you, Mrs. Claus, and the elves, and the ranger? Dear Santa, thank you for last year's toys. This year I would like a 2005 Valley remote control car. At the moment things are that tight. I don't know where the extra cash is actually going to come from for Christmas. So we're kind of just taking each day and hoping. I'm here for my last meeting with David and Paula. It's been a very tough three months. They can't take any more. It all hinges on the remortgage. Had you been servicing the, the debt, which is about 130,000 correctly, it you know, would have been costing up the guts of 25,000 a year. And mm. since March, really, you've been paying about 13,000 a year, yeah. um, which is really temporary repayments, just holding still. And you've been tightening up quite a lot over the last mm -hmm. few months again. So uh, how, how long more do you think you could sustain that for? I mean, the, the, the lender was suggesting that they would review it in, after Christmas, like maybe mid-January or so. What, what if they were to suggest that might extend out a little bit, like a month or two? Nah. Would you be able for it? I don't think so. It, it would be very hard because mm -hmm. I think what we have done is we have kind of um, we've brainwashed ourselves that yeah January mm. you know so I think getting over the Christmas is going to be the hardest bit mm. it, it will be hard it'll be like there's kind of no end to it it would be a really nice Christmas present though to have it before Christmas wouldn't it it would have ah, been. It would, but yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah but I suppose you have to be realistic you have mm -hmm. to be realistic well um, <clears throat> well I have here uh, confirmation in writing that it's available now all right 
Here you Mortgage. Go. Here you go. It's done. Dusted in the can. No way. Oh, why not? You oh. have it. You have it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Thanks God. Thanks very much. Thanks a million. You're very welcome. Thank you. That's a Christmas present. No way. I can't believe that. It's immediately available. Well, we know where David and Paula have been, but just look where they're going. The new mortgage package will cost them the revised child benefit allowance plus 86 cent a day from David's salary.